Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogtoot.com and welcome to another amazing video. In this video, I'll show you how you can accept credit card and debit card on your own website. Now I have to, uh, thought you how to create an e-commerce website. Now this in this video, I'll show you how you can accept the payment on your own website because if, earlier we were using PayPal. In PayPal, what happens is when the user or the customer wants to make payment, they have to go to PayPal to make the payment. But today I'll show you how you can accept payment on your own website okay so the user can make payment through credit card or debit card on your own website they don't have to go to some third party website first let's understand the difference and let's use this website as a demo website if you don't know how to create this e-commerce website if you are interested in how to create an e-commerce website from scratch you very easily then there is a link given in the video description below you can follow that link i have thought you know in detail for four, uh, there is a four hour long tutorial. You can watch that tutorial. You'll learn everything from scratch, how to create an e-commerce website. Okay, now let me go to the shop page. So let's add some product in our cart. For example, suppose you want to add this thing, this helmet to hover this and click on add to cart. Now as you can see, we have something in add in our cart. So let's click on view cart. So this is the product in our cart. Now, if you want to make payment, what do you do? You click on proceed to checkout and we have this PayPal option over here. So now let's see, this is the website on which we are nitro.nayashik.com. And when we want to make payment through PayPal, we select PayPal, we click on proceed to PayPal. Now, as you can see, it has redirected me to paypal.com, not on my website. Even if I want to make payment through credit card or debit card, I will have to use PayPal. Okay. Now, I don't say PayPal is bad or something like that. PayPal is really, really amazing. I personally use it. But the thing is now uh, this thing doesn't work. Okay. If you're creating a e-commerce website, you should, you have some better option. That is what I'm showing you today. Okay. Now, this is what happens when you use PayPal. Now, let's come back. Let's come back again. Now, instead of PayPal, you can use Stripe. Okay. Now, when you use Stripe, as you can see, we have the credit card detail over here. The user can put in their credit card or debit card details over here. Okay. This is just demo card. Okay. So, don't use this card. And they can put all this information over here and click on place order. Okay, it is taking some time. It is analyzing it. As you can see, thank you, your order has been received. So we, the user or the, you have already received an order. Okay, the the customer didn't have to go to some third party website to make the pa payment. Now today I'll show you how you can set up this thing. So to do so, come back to your dashboard. Now to use this thing first, we need a plugin called Stripe. So from the left hand side, you'll see this plugins, hover plugins and click on add new. Now in the search plugin, just type in Stripe as uh, S T R I P E. Now, when you do, when you do so, you get many different plugins called Stripe. Now the one which you have to install is this one, WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway by WooCommerce. Okay. It has got around 300,000 active installs. So this is the one that you have to install. So here you'll get one button like this install now click on that install now button then activate this plugin okay once you activate this plugin how from the left hand side hover woocommerce and click on settings now click on checkout now you should see one more option over here called stripe like this one here we have stripe click on stripe now make sure you tick mark this enable stripe and in the title we have credit card or stripe now we don't want this title over here we just use credit card or debit card okay okay pay with your credit card via stripe so again we don't need uh, via stripe just type in pay with your credit card or debit card now i have enabled test mode because i don't want to make any real uh, payment so if you let me show you how to set this thing first First, go to stripe.com and make a free account. It is really easy and very simple to create an account. I have already done that. As you can see, I have made $150 sale. This is obviously test sale. So what I'll do now, I'll go to developers and under developers, you have API keys. Now at present, as I said you, I'm using the test mode. I am not using the live mode. That's why I'm getting this uh, thing over here. So. When I click on this, I have publishable key and secret key. 
So co copy this publishable key from here. Come back to your website and paste it over here. After that we have secret key. Copy it from here and paste it over here. Okay. Now after that you don't have to do anything. Just click on save changes. And once your website is live, make sure you first activate your account. Okay. How you do that? Hover this and click on this link which says activate your account and follow the process. Okay. This is only for you know when you are in the production stages and you still want to check whether everything is working fine or not. But when your website is live, first activate your account. I am doing this because I don't want to make any real payment. Okay, I just want to show you guys. So once you do so, you will have this option. Let's come back. Okay. Okay, we don't have anything because uh, we have made a successful payment. Let's try again. Let's try this. Let's add this thing to cart. Let's add this product as well. So we have two products in our cart. Let's cut this thing. When I hover this, as you can see, we have two products. Let's click on checkout. Now, as you can see, it doesn't say a oh, stripe. Now it does. It is saying credit card or debit card. Now we can just enter your debit card details. In fact, this is just a demo uh, card number. You can use this card number four two four two four two. All this four two and after that you can put any uh, month uh, expiry date any month and any year and any cvc number and click on place order okay the order amount was 2834 as you can see over here now as you can see the total amount 2834 uh, pounds the order is made we have all these details over here now when you click, come back to this website and go to your home page as you can see, my balance has now gone to $4,000 and I can see that we have made six successful payments. And if you want to see this thing in detail, you can click on developers and click on events. Now you can see the successful payment was made for $2,834. Okay, so this is how you accept debit card and credit card payment on your website. I hope this short tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. If you have any doubt, any queries, any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.